We've got a chance to get to a semi-final today, folks. Can we pull it off? Let's find out. What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Dortmund Rising. If you're excited for this episode, down below, hit that like button. And if you want to see more FM content on the channel daily, hit the subscribe button as well. Down below also, if you like FIFA, I've got my second channel, second channel with FIFA on there. Uh, foot videos, generally now and then, updating, updating on my account. And also, Cremo daily is, is daily on there as well. Down below also, links to my Discord and Twitch. Twitch live on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturdays when I am available and work permits and moon lines with Mars and all that kind of stuff. So today, guys, we're on the page of Labras Sapatas. He's a young... I'll probably buzz that completely up. A young Greek midfielder. We've got a couple of good 17 years in this team, to be fair. That's one of the showcase because I've had to change the live coming. You'll see one in a second. Um, but, yeah. Um, I, I like this guy. I just can't say what to make, what to train him as because the tackling looks good, passing looks good, technique looks good, long shots are good. What do you think, guys, in the comment section? What do you think about this guy? What would you make him into? The fact he's got 13 long shots, I'm lean to some guy attacking attacking centre midfielder. But we don't really play centre midfielder. We don't have much space for him, but I don't know. Your thoughts down in the comment section. So one game off camera. You'll see why it's one game in a second, because I did say I'll show big games. And yeah, this game this game didn't go well. So we lost 1-0 um, to uh, Hoffenheim, I think it was. And yeah... It was a bad goal to concede from a guy at five post completely unmarked and a six foot a six foot a six foot one two six foot two set left back couldn't win it. We got a man set on the case. We were a better team in this game until the man got sent off and then we just couldn't obviously then we had a disadvantage. Disappointing result. Um but it's mitigating circumstances. So in the league table we're still two points clear at the top all level on games now. So it makes it a bit better for us. But well clear fifth, which is obviously something you know I'm a bit proud about with my saves. The goal difference is higher as well, but I think the goal difference um is gonna be important, I think, going to this, going to this back half of the season because when we do win games, we seem to be quite regular at knocking two and three and four in. Uh, which is, I think, is a good habit to get into. So the reason why we're doing one game today is because it's a it's a quarter final again in Deutsche Buckle. Now, the reason why, because I did say my style is going to be two live comms usually, but odd game episodes where we do one one live com. And because it's Leipzig and they are currently where they in the table, they're currently third in the table, and it's a chance to get semi final. It made sense. It hit, it hit the criteria for a one off episode live com. Now it won't be the full match though. That's that was for, for cup finals. But as for, I wasn't going to do it. But and then when Leipzig came, I thought, well, we kind of have to. And this episode will probably be Bayern and Salzburg. Um, most likely. Uh, depending on what happens in the old Salzburg game, it may be by Bayern and Augsburg. Again, I'll make a judgment on that when that happens. So, let's go, folks. Hopefully, we can get a win. I've done the team news already. I've done the, team, the, the, the tactical things already. What the, the tactical what's it thingies. You know, those, those things you set up for teams to win matches. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, guys. Um, things like Moose is up. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so, let's see if we can get a win here today. Because... We didn't play. We, we played well in the last game. Just the ten men kind of screwed us over. I had to worry with Kessie about it as well. We all like see what happened last time. I don't remember what happened last time against Leipzig. Um, I'm guessing we got. I'm guessing a defeat based on what you just said then. So, let's go, folks. Um, one-off games today. It's a nice little change. It's key things fresh, I think, and also it made sense. I don't think you want to see a cup quarterfinal and then have see. God, that's a bit fast. Um, a cup, a cup, a cup quarterfinal. Then a team gets 18th in the table. Do you really? So. Let's see what happens here today. Throw in now to Munier. Finds David Neres. Neres into Olmo. In the box. Cleared. Digs against the Haaland. Who scores? Dortmund the one. Leipzig nil. It's a completely against the run of play, this goal. We've been the second best team for the whole match. Really. Very rarely a highlight for us. But Haaland has come up with the, with the goods here in this in this quarter final. Not semi final yet. Hopefully it will be soon. Well done, Olmo. Uh, so Kessie, okay, good ball in and then flicked on by Haaland Keith made a massive error there coming out for that got nowhere near it and he makes it 1-0 and how close was, was he offside here the keeper I don't mind the keeper's coming out for that because he's not he, he makes a movement forward and he just makes the Haaland head easier doesn't it Melito good tackle that Sancho maybe that, 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 that gun might get us going now maybe Haaland wins that ball finds Olmo Olmo to Haaland 
different team now, last two seconds. Here he is on the left hand side. He needs support here. He's not got much support at the moment. Force Neves in the penalty here now. Kessier and it's 2 0 Dortmund. Dortmund 2, Kessie, Dortmund 2, Leipzig 0. Goals change games, guys, and this is a prime example of that today. What an absolutely thunderbolt from Kessier. Making amends for the red card in the league game. Fair play to him. Well done, Haaland. Down on the left hand side. Again, there is unfortunate, but Kessie goes, oh, we'll hit this in the back of the net. I don't know what the keeper's doing. It's like he's looking out the way of it. Um, but 2 0 against um, Leipzig out of nowhere. This quarterfinal is firmly, firmly in, our, in, our, in our control. Carno. So that's all. Good ball. Why to Melito? Just get, again, we look like a. Suddenly now, we look like we're getting closer to him now, more or less. Oh, that's unfortunate. And uh, Tolles is a full goal. We have a chance here. Let's go beautifully for a goal, surely. And he has. Dortmund 2, Leipzig 1. They've got one. But I think they probably deserve a goal. Dakar actually was a player that I saw recently linked with um, United in real life. Um, I don't know how true that is. It's him and Bayern and Arsenal, Liverpool, all linked with him, I think I remember the story correctly. But 2 1, probably about a fair score. Really. They, probably, they probably deserve to be in front, but just very poor win when there's 50 50, ball, 50 50 ball in the air. Just worry now we're going to ease off a little bit now after that. Now that we've got that goal, it's going to knock a conference, knock a conference a little bit. Daka, get that ball off him. Again, I just don't understand why he's not marking, but he should be marking a lot better than he is there. He's down the left hand side here now. Ball on the box, and oh, the keeper's Dr. Klanger. Berkey has cost two goals in the last two episodes. He's cost one against. Uh, who was against it? Schalke was it? And then one today. That is not good enough from Berkey. And again, I was questioning the marking here. Just doesn't get close to him enough and stop the cross. And then when the ball comes in here, he, he's got to be better there as Garcia. He's right in that line where it should be. Look, the ball comes right where he stood. And then Berkey's just got to catch that ball. He drops the ball, literally. Um, and it's 2 2. Probably unfair to be too look, but it's just disappointing that it's an error and a 50 50 ball for both goals. And that's going to be half time as well, I think, as well. It's really poor from Berkey. And I do feel like we need to get rid of him long term because um, I think he's just not really. I, don't, I still don't trust him in net, to be honest with you. Uh, not good performance out there. Berkey needs to get a grip of himself and actually catch the ball. Um, but yeah, errors costing us. 50, 50, the 50 issue we had today has cost us now uh, twice. Figure for Reina, long range. Gone for it! Hits the post! Oh, I thought that was going to be. I thought he'd found the back of the net there, but unfortunately, the post denied him. Well, extra time, lads. Um, this, is also, this is also a good reason why um, we wanted to do, uh, do this game on its own um, I'm going to make more changes if I can because these players are absolutely knackered um, I'm limited options I can do here but Emery Chan could come on I can't make any more can I no I can't make any more changes the fullback areas I've got problems with I can't rotate them at the moment um, so we've got to stick with that for now um, yeah this is going to be an interesting second half it really is oh extra time sorry we have been Slightly better in the second half than they have, maybe, but we've just struggled to really create anything of note. Um, but hopefully, we can do that. Hopefully, that will change the second half. Emre Chan, Demir on, on, on the right hand side. Again, put them on the box might be an idea. Just, just they stand there and like get the ball in the box before they close you down might be an idea. Well, second half extra time, guys. Literally, nothing happened, nothing happened in the first half extra time, which is very disappointing um, for our point of view. This, this this team feels like it's on the brink of collapsing now because of the fitness. But saying that, there's only two. The fullbacks are the issues that I'm worried about because they're absolutely in, they're dead on their feet. Figure for Reina though. Goal that'd be fantastic. Dinks it in to Skriniar and found the goal. Dortmund three, Leipzig two. I was hoping it felt like it might be a set piece that might do it because of lack of fitness in the in the team in certain areas. But well, good ball Reina. Skriniar rises above the, everybody and puts us back in front. Just please, please, can we please just get this win now? Because I don't want penalties. Not me, really, not now. Stick with him. Stick with him. Don't let him cross that in. Don't let him cross it in. Well done, my case. Again, react to it. Oh, too easy that. I mean, that's we do that a lot, unfortunately. We tackle and we don't get the benefit for it. Uh, it just, I don't know. Is that a thing? Because this tackle here, we tackle him. And the ball bounces back to him again. And then, again, Reina has got to realise the danger is here. And then it's a great shot. And the keeper beating near post again. Keeping near post, Berkey near post is an issue. But 3-3, free, free, what a game. It's penalties, folks. It is penalties. Um, I am not looking forward to this. 
Uh, I have zero belief in the win in, in, in that penalty taking. Um, generally speaking, because of the fact that, well, essentially, um, Haaland's hit and miss with them sometimes. Anyway, it's been a great game. It's worth been been fully worth um, the, a, a full a full life com a, a, a full game a full episode of on this match. So we're going to just do this. Up the speed a little bit. Let's go. Milito, first penalty for Leipzig. He, took three, he, takes, he takes three kicks as well. Stepping up. It's in the back of the net. 1-0 Leipzig. Haaland. He might miss this. He might score it. There's no... I'm not confident either way. Good penalty. He, 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 he just personally misses them. That's why I was worried. So, Nkunku. Is it Nkunku? Nkunku, yeah. Stepping up for Leipzig. And sends it the right... Keep it the wrong way as well. Perfect penalty of Enrique Chan. Never seen take a penalty for me yet on this series. Memory serves. And he won't be taking one again um, after missing that one. Um, here comes the guy. We did a review on this guy, actually, on my channel. Check it out, guys. He's in the playlist. Stepping up. Yeah, I think we're going out. Um, we just not had the energy and rotation poss possible that I'd like today. Here comes the... Okay, stepping up. Good penalty. Well done. I think that mid, mid, mid height in the, in the net, wasn't it? So here we go again. I'm looking forward to this one. Can he save it, Birkin? No, he can't. Birkin needs to step up, really. He cost the goal in this game. He's got to save us in this one. In this penalty shootout. So we've got a score. We've got a score penalty. Who's taking it? Olmo. I'm quietly confident he'll score, but not based on anything other than just my belief. I need to score. No base, no, no factual, factual basis for that confidence I had there, but just felt like almost a player that I, I would sort of trust. So, Berkey's got to save this against Garvidal, who's at the centre back who also did a run last year. Can he save it though? Let's find out. Stepping up for it. Come on, Berkey. Oh, he has! I say saved. Hit right, hit right at him. Right, sudden death. We've got to score this though, haven't we? Yes, we do. And it's Rainer taking it. Rain is taking it. Come on, Rainer, don't mess this up for us. Oh, well done. Good penalty. This could be quite a long episode, guys. I do apologise. How long has it been? I oh, know it's only 22 minutes. I'll cut bits out of it, of course. Back stepping up. Scores. This could be we could be here a while. Uh we could be here we be, be here a while. Um but then 17 minutes is kind of episode length I go for, so we should be okay with the editing. So we again back to some death. Demir is stepping up. He's been really good this season. He's really stepped up at times for me in key moments. Can he do it again today? Stepping up. Yes, he can. This is going to take for, for either to do. I'm not going to try to pass this guy's name. I'm not going to try. Well, he scored it. So, player A scored the goal. This could be, this could be absolutely the longest penalty shootout we've had on the series. I'm going to be a little bit more. Just to try and make it a bit faster. Here comes the left back. The young left back, Aliyev. The young left back who steps up and misses. Well, you know what? Based on how the game had gone, penalty is probably a fair outcome. We had we had, we had good spells. They had good spells. We we scored when they had their good spell. They, you know, so I don't know. It's like Sig, they are a good side. It was unlucky. If we did, if Berkey could, could, could catch a ball and we win the 50 50s in the first half, we 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 had done we would have done a lot better. The first two goals were basically an error from the keeper and not winning a battle in the air for the for the first one. So anyway, um disappointing result overall. Can't really complain really, other than the the, the two errors, you know, uh, that we made. It's all our fault really, self inflicted defeat really. Punch you out, another another day, it's a different story. We couldn't rotate the full back when no one fit to do it. So yeah. Right, next episode, like I said what like I said we were doing these four games off camera, um, and then we'll come back for Bayern and Salzburg. If the Salzburg result goes one way or another, that's massively in favour. Once I'm winning it, I will change that up and then do um, why Bayern and Salzburg. You'll know, you you you. I'll make a bow on its own actually. Uh, again, but if basically if we win five 0 against Salzburg, for example, then the ties over into basically. Um, really, or if they win four 0 it's basically over into it as well. So we'll see what happens there, and I'll update you as I went. Thank you for watching, folks. Don't forget to hit like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new as well, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.